In the 17th century, tulip bulbs were considered more valuable than gold in the Netherlands. It was a time when the Western world was going through a dramatic shift as it came out from the shadows of the Middle Ages, stepping into the bright, shiny new age of Renaissance and Enlightenment. Countries were reforming their economies, embracing capitalism, and exploring new territories. Among these countries, the Netherlands stood out for its progress and dynamism. The Dutch were pioneers in many areas. Their economic policies were far ahead of the time, putting them on the path to prosperity. They built an extensive network of canals for trade and transportation, which played a critical role in their economic success. Their innovative financial instruments and banking systems became models for other countries to follow. It was the golden age of the Dutch Republic, with wealth flowing in from every corner, leading to an era of great prosperity. In this prosperous environment, Dutch society observed a transition. People moved away from the austere values of previous eras and embraced a new culture of affluence and indulgence. The middle class expanded and a new kind of consumerism took hold, driven by a surge in disposable income. A love for art, culture and exotic goods flourished, and the Dutch became renowned for their refined tastes. Amidst this backdrop of economic growth and cultural change, the Dutch developed a peculiar fascination, tulips. The tulips, initially introduced from the Ottoman Empire, were a novelty in Europe. Their vibrant colors, varied patterns and unique shapes were unlike any other flower seen before in the continent. They captivated the Dutch with their exotic appeal, bringing an element of the mysterious East into their orderly Calvinistic homes. The tulip soon transcended its status as a mere flower and became a symbol of wealth, status and sophistication. The wealthier classes started collecting tulip bulbs, displaying them in their gardens as a sign of their affluence. The middle class followed suit, eager to emulate the lifestyle of the elite. Demand began to outstrip supply and the prices of tulip bulbs started to rise. The rarity of some tulip varieties, particularly those with unique and intricate patterns, further added to their allure. The frenzy over tulips reached such a level where ownership of a single tulip bulb became a mark of great wealth. The prices of tulip bulbs skyrocketed, sometimes costing more than a house in Amsterdam. The market for tulips became so overheated that it gave rise to one of the first recorded speculative bubbles. People sold land, livestock, and even their homes to invest in tulip bulbs hoping to make a fortune. This speculative bubble, known as the tulip mania, led to an economic frenzy in the Dutch Republic. At its peak, tulip bulbs were traded on the stock exchanges of numerous Dutch towns and cities. Such was the demand that at one point, a single tulip bulb was sold for an equivalent of 10 years of a skilled craftsman's wages. However, like all bubbles, the tulip mania burst. The market crashed, leaving many in financial ruins. Despite the economic turmoil it caused, the tulip mania remains an iconic event in economic history, serving as a stark reminder of the dangers of speculation and the fickle nature of value and beauty. This frenzy over tulips culminated in what is now known as the infamous tulip mania. Ancient Egyptians used to shave their eyebrows as a sign of mourning when their cats passed away. During the Great Emu War in Australia in 1932, the Australian military fought against a large population of emus and ultimately lost. The shortest war in history occurred between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896, lasting only 38 minutes. In the 16th century it was believed that wearing a live mouse in a small decorative cage as jewelry would bring good luck. The city of Rome was not built in a day, but according to legend, it was founded on April 21, 753 BC, by twin brothers Romulus and Remus. Cleopatra the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt was Greek, not Egyptian. In 1518 a dancing plague occurred in Strasbourg where people danced uncontrollably for days, leading to several deaths. Ancient Romans used urine as a cleaning agent for their teeth because it contained ammonia. In the 19th century, women's dresses were so large that they often caught fire when they got too close to open flames, leading to numerous fashion-related accidents.